It's Vlogmas day four. So it's 7.59 and it's candle day. So I'm about to, I really don't like this angle. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go get my candles and my mom candles. Um, Bath and Body Works family opens at 8 and then there's another one that opened at 6. So hopefully it's not too crazy, but we'll see. This angle is not good. It's so cold upstairs in my house. I don't know what is going on with the thermostat. Honestly, I think I messed it up, but I'm not gonna tell anyone that. Um, they just need to fix it. I got back from Bath and Body Works and I got so many candles. Okay, not like so, so many, but like more than I probably needed. 11, I got 15. Four of them are my mom's though, so technically I got 11. I have a lot of frozen lake frozen lake i don't even know how to explain it it's so they have like a thing about the notes okay so it says the fragrance notes are lavender leaves cool eucalyptus juniper berries and then essential oils i wish i knew what the essential oils in this were or are but it's whatever i'm kind of upset because I have one of these already and it comes in like this blue uh, jar, like a solid blue mat. That's the signature White Barn um, packaging. But this one is like the holiday one and it doesn't go with my room. It's actually very ugly. It smells so good. I got one of the mahogany and teakwood. The notes in this one are, are rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark wood, I mean dark oak, frosted lavender and then essential oils so so here's the thing i like this one it's just that this isn't like my regular one even though this is like my second time buying candles um this was for my mom but she wanted me to get her four candles and one of the candles that she wanted the mahogany balsam 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 whatever the second bath and body works i went to had it so when I went to the first one, I originally got her two of these, but since the second place had the other mahogany one, I just gave her one of those and then I'm keeping one of these. This one smells really good. Like it's not, it's a, I think it's a masculine smell, but it doesn't smell like ax. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. And then I'm pretty sure all of the rest of these are frozen lake. I got my mom this one. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I guess I got her this one, too. Rainforest Gardenia. It smells good. It's definitely not my type of vibe. Um, the notes on this one are classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, white woods, and essential oils. Yeah, this is not for me. So I guess I got her five. Or maybe I'll just take her eucalyptus one. This one is like, it, it's my top two but it is number two because my first one that i love is the frozen lake one mahogany balsam honestly is it balsam or balsam like what i i don't know uh the notes in this one are juniper berry fresh balsam i'm about to google the pronunciation because how do you pronounce this let's hear it balsam, balsam. i was right it it's giving me christmas tree vibes 
Christmas, but like not too Christmassy. Like you could definitely smell the other notes in there, even though I don't know what the other notes smell like. It's just not straight. It's not straight up Christmas tree, okay? So this one I definitely recommend. I don't know where I'm about to put these. I have no room in my room. Like I have too much stuff. I don't know. While I'm here sitting, I picked out four of the letters that I adopted from the USPS Operation Santa. So the first one, first of all, I saw this one girl, she was asking for Lululemon um, leggings and stuff. I was like, if you know what Lululemon is, you, you don't really need any help from Santa's elves, okay? So I'm helping fulfill EJ's wish list. Um, he wants iTunes gift card, Air Jordan Jubilee size 10 and a half, and Xbox, Apple AirPods, and an Apple laptop. So I am going to try to fulfill as much as I can. Um, I might, I'm gonna do the iTunes gift card, and then for the sneakers, I might like get like a finish line gift card or something like that, or a Foot Locker gift card. This girl, Jasmine, her list was so sweet. She said that she would like end of COVID-19, world peace, climate control, and a new Xbox. So I can't make the Xbox thing happen, but I don't know. I found her letter to be very mature. So I'm gonna write a letter out to her as if I'm Santa, obviously. And, um, and then what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna get, um, See, if I had, if she had other items, I would know what type of thing she's into. I can't get her Xbox games because I don't know if she's going to get the Xbox. So I'm going to have to think of something else to get her. I don't want to get her a gift card because kids don't really appreciate gift cards. I feel like you have to hit a certain age, even though I don't know how old this girl is. You have to hit an, a certain age before like, you really understand how great it is to get gift cards. Um, so yeah, that's Jasmine. And then Max said he was just wondering if Santa can send Elf Carly and if you could send a note back. Thank you, Santa, I love you. He's another one. I guess I'm just gonna be getting a lot of gift cards and then I'm gonna be writing notes as if I'm Santa. Now I wanna do it where it looks not like just it's on a printer paper or if it's like on um, loose sleep. I'm going to go to Michael's and get like, parchment looking paper i guess or some I'm, I'm gonna jazz it up it's gonna look very nice i i like this type of stuff and then the last one is corey she's a teenager and she believes in the power of the holidays so she said that she would like apple airpods and some fenty beauty lip glosses and a gift card to pink um so i'm going to fulfill the Fenty Beauty and the gift card to pink um, because honestly I love makeup so I want to help her get her collection up there and Fenty glosses are good black owned female owned so I'm here for it and then the pink um, gift card I feel like every girl should experience that stage of shopping at pink um, it's just something about getting the sweatsuits I remember that like I loved having pink sweatsuits so uh, since she said she's a teenager i'm gonna make that happen so i don't know when i'm gonna do that i'm probably gonna maybe i'll do that tomorrow because i do have to go to the mall to return the mac shadow i don't know if i mentioned that yesterday i have physical therapy at three o'clock so i'll be leaving here at like 2 30 i could really go for a nap i can't lie because i was up so early and then i have to go to the bronx to drop something off for at this girl's house i went through my makeup and i had some palettes that i didn't use so i figured someone else will use it so i just have to i'm gonna spray it down with 90 percent alcohol because alcohol doesn't mess up the formula but it disinfects it regardless um so i'm just gonna spray the palettes and then give them to her it's like very cold i've been back from pt for a while i actually had to go to the bronx um after pt somehow i went into pt perfectly fine um and i left with an ice pack on my knee so okay there's actually background to that what's today friday so yesterday or maybe it was the day before i was just 
standing minding my business what I do best and I guess the angle I had oh wait this is not what I wanted to do oh well whatever I guess the angle I had my right leg at I have like a knee problem as of right now um it made my knee dislocate again so yeah that's why I left PT with an ice pack because she said I was a little swollen I didn't see it but she's a professional not me but I went to the Bronx after so when I was in the Bronx I hit this pothole right now I try to avoid potholes but for some reason the Bronx it's like a tie between the Bronx and Queens like the potholes are just terrible so I hit this pothole I got upset but I kept driving everything was fine I live like 40 minutes from the Bronx right I got a tire notification when I was like 10 minutes from my house which I mean I guess it's a good thing but my tire pressure is now low and I just realized my car doesn't tell me which tire it is so to me all the tires look the same you know so I guess tomorrow I'll see if I wake up and I have a flat um but I'll deal with that when I get there but yeah so I got back I got Chipotle oh my god my Chipotle was so good like I was upset about my tire so I I just ate I, I ate almost the whole bowl and I got double the steak so I made sure I ate all the steak my room is a disaster I don't know I don't know I don't know I have my soft boxes here because I did a video before I left on the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I did like a updated full coverage routine and i used that spray to see if it's really mask proof so i wore the mask while i was doing pt and honestly it wasn't terrible um well i actually put this on twice because when i went into chipotle but i feel like let me turn down my ring light a little bit i feel like i don't even know if you could tell but I feel like it could have been worse because I wore it during PT. I was probably sweating without even realizing it. I don't know. But I'm not too upset about that setting spray. And then now I just got the shower and I noticed that my face is very textured. And I don't know if it's because I've been using this face oil or what. I don't think there's anything else going on. I didn't get my resume. Did I tell you guys how I... Uh, did the reservations for the Yeezys I had multiple people sign up I did not get the reservations so hopefully I wake up tomorrow and I get a notification that I was selected on Adidas and they just process my order and I get my Yeezys in X amount of days because something's got to give the amount of people I had signed up for me listen I I better get a pair because if not it don't make sense it's rigged nothing else is really going on I'm about to go edit this video what time is it oh my gosh it's 7 24 I gotta edit it really quick. Okay, I gotta go. Bye.